today the Chinese class is singing a song for all of you for Chinese New Year. The Chinese class is going to be singing a song called Gong Xi Gong Xi, uh, which translates into Congratulations, Congratulations. Um, as you can guess, the song's about congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it talks about the new year and how uh, winter ends and spring begins and how life is coming forth and making the world um, a little warmer and a little brighter. Um, the first verse starts, Mei Tiao Da Jie Xiao Xiang. Everywhere in the streets, every person's mouth speaks this word. It is congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to you. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to you. Um, and then there's four verses, so. <laughs> Oh, 
and ninth grade were in here this afternoon from three to four to talk about course planning and the uh, college application process. So we look forward to seeing you. Please make sure uh, that you notify anybody for any activity that you might be that you might be missing. Uh, just a quick review of some vocabulary that I think is uh, relevant for dances. Community, a group of people sharing social values and responsibilities. Plan, a detailed proposal for doing or achieving something. Dance committee, the group who devises the plan. Flake, someone who agrees to do something on the plan but does not follow through. It was a great dance on Friday night. I know a lot of people had a good time and there were wonderful decorations and I, I really appreciate everybody who was there early, all the parent chaperones and faculty chaperones and those few, few people who stayed at the end um, with uh, Sensei and I to clean up until 12. It was kind of an exercise in limited resources and room eight in the library still need a lot of attention so if you were part of the group that was uh, intended or committed to stay and help clean up, it'd be nice if you could go back to the library, check in with Mrs. White, and check in with teachers and roommates today to do a little more cleanup. That would be nice. Thanks. Okay, today at the lunchtime, the Andrew Wang is going to have a um, presentation on Chinese, how Chinese celebrate Chinese New Year. And uh, uh, anybody interested in we well, welcome you to attend. And uh, also afternoon, we're going to have a movie session in room three. And we're going to watch Chinese movies. And uh, this presentation will be in, Chinese, in room one, uh, room nine, Chinese room, okay, the, at the lunch time. So Matt, Perry, Ryan, Katz, and Katie, you'll see you this coming before you leave today. Before you leave this room, I'll be out there. another theme day on Thursday. It's called Senior Seniors Day. Um, so the seniors are going to be dressing up as senior citizens, so old people. Um, the juniors are going to be midlife crisis. Good luck with that. Um, sophomores are going to be toddlers, and eighth and ninth are going to be babies. Faculty and staff are going to be zombies, so post-mortem kind of thing. Oh, and then there's going to be dodgeball in the gym during lunch on Thursday, so everybody dress up. Have you ever like wondered why like a lot of people like say like when they like talk? Do you ever like find that like annoying? Yes. I do. Um, it's extremely annoying. Every four or five words, this unnecessary like finds its way into your sentences and completely makes you sound ridiculous. It's an epidemic because every time you use like, your IQ will drop. Um, like is an audible pause, in this case used to connect ideas between your sentences. Of course, there are differences in likes. One can compare, uh, he ran fast, like a cheetah. Uh, one can express desire, I like pot, which I do. Um, <laughs> one can replace like with said. You, and she was all like, no you didn't, and I was like, oh yes I did. <laughs> and then there's the Facebook like, which is done up to, out of sheer boredom. But, um, <laughs> And then there's a like used for no other reason than because I can and it's free. So, my fellow citizens, I ask you to join me to not like like. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to preface this with submit to Lit Mag because we really want you to. Yeah. Okay, um, I have a job opportunity open for anyone who's interested. It has to be someone who is not a senior who can continue doing it next school year. It's a year-round opportunity, but it's flexible and it's with childcare, so if you're interested, you talk to me, because limited options. Okay, also, JSA. We're meeting today, so. And if you're going to Winter Congress, I want one of these from all of you. I have a total of five, which does not include Will, so, you all need to give these to me, like Shelby did five minutes ago. So you should all be like Shelby and give me your checks. Also, if you're going to win our Congress, I'd recommend you read this. This is the Constitution. You're going to want to know it backwards and forwards. You really are. 
Uh, hey, so my band, Population 5, we have our first gig since August at the Alternative Cafe on February 3rd, next Friday. Uh, they have really good coffee. We're going to be uh, debuting new material, and uh, I'm probably going to be wearing a dress. So um, if you don't come for the music, uh, come for the Harry Mathai. So February 3rd, next Friday. <laughs> won their soccer game against Kirby 4-0. Uh, Caroline, Caroline scored two goals and Audrey scored two goals. And tomorrow we have a home game against Anzar, so you should come. No Model UN meeting today, but there will be a meeting on Wednesday. I also need the checks um, for the Berkeley Model UN conferences from all of you who haven't turned it in yet by Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.